Hi kitty cats, today is May 29th, 2024. Now it's been a couple of weeks since I talked about travel to Thailand and then hotel once we're there. And today I want to discuss finances while we're in Thailand. Now obviously I'm not using insurance to pay for gender affirming surgery. It's kind of the whole point of starting this video series. So we're responsible for paying for surgery up front and on our own before it happens. The hospital I booked will take both cash and credit cards on the day of the surgery, but to us, that wasn't really the best option because nobody wants to carry around many thousands of dollars in cash, and we also didn't want to have to deal with a credit card company when I'm checking into a hospital for major surgery. Either way, getting the funds while we're in Thailand is complicated, whether you're trying to take cash out from the ATM or risking the card being denied. So we looked for other options. Now it turns out the hospital will accept a bank wire transfer, which generally anyway has no surcharge, and they're also 100% traceable from bank to bank. Since we like the security of a wire transfer, we're gonna use that to pay for the surgery itself before we even get there. But there are still day-to-day -day expenses we have to cover, like food. Now we thought getting a Thai bank account sounded like a great idea, it turns out it's pretty complicated, but there is a service called WISE. This is at WISE.com that acts kind of like what we expected. You open up an account with WISE, and then you put money into it or link a bank account. Then you get a card that functions globally, and that's what we intend to use. Looks like a good service. But that is Finances in Thailand. I hope you found this video helpful. Please follow me. Please like the video and share it with those who need it. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.